Yes, Sega Comics here representing Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. I am Mork, aka the Bagging and Boarding Bad Boy. Today I have a review for Aquaman issue number 16. And this starts off with Aquaman basically coming to Batman's rescue. Uh, last issue you saw Ocean Master and the Trench Monsters. They all just, they took uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman captive. They left them at the bottom of the ocean for, for them to die. They've been left for dead. Aquaman comes to help Batman and they're able to communicate with one another and uh, that's going on right there and then you see the last issue as well you saw where Cyborg had actually dialed in for some backup to help come help the Justice League and you see Hawkman, Black Lightning, Black Canary they're all there fighting like Atlantean warriors on land uh, of course you got the trench war going down and, you, and then you got the Atlantean warriors up on the land and a lot of the the B team has come in to help the A team there on land. And then Cyborg had been off the grid and then he's been brought back on. Batman's able to send a signal to Cyborg that he's able to pick up so he's able to know where Batman is. He gets Mara, they go to help uh, Arthur, Aquaman, who's like been overran by just this swarm of trench army warriors. And uh, they come down there to help him and fight them. And you see a nice double page spread of the trench. That's when they start coming back up to land. I just think there's some really cool villains. That's just awesome right there. I like stuff with the trench. and uh, But you see them doing that. And then, big reveal at the end. I don't want to spoil it. But you think Ocean Master's behind all this. But he's not. Somebody else. Kind of obvious if you've been reading this. Somebody else is behind all this war right here. And it's going to be concluded in Justice League. Issue number 17. And... You know, if you're reading Aquaman, I can't imagine why you wouldn't be reading Justice League for the Throne of Atlantis arc. And uh, we find out too in this as well. You see, uh, like some Atlantean history, the trench that was just showing. They actually tie into it. They go way back in Atlantean history, and we didn't know that. That was something that was revealed here. And of course, I liked just a lot of DC's finest just in this. You know, working together as a team, that's cool. You don't see that a lot in the Justice League comics, so it was nice to see here. And he's, of course, you having Batman on your team, that's a huge asset. It's good to be friends with Batman because obviously he's so crafty and handy, he's able to send that signal to Cyborg, and Cyborg's able to get Mara and come to their rescue, so that was really cool. Anytime Mara's in a comic book, that's always awesome. She's just a, a beautifully drawn comic book character. And I was kind of thinking about dropping Aquaman after this arc because it had been good, it had been great, but man, I think it's gonna, it's really gonna keep going in a good direction. I looked in the previews catalog, I, I really kind of like what might be coming, so I'm gonna try to stick with this a little longer. It's, it's not bad at all. This issue was really good. I'd have to give Aquaman issue number 16 a 4 out of 5. Alright guys, till next time, stay action-packed, and may your stack be fat.